Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is an introduction to VBA workshop. And in this workshop, we're gonna be covering off name ranges, application worksheet functions, a bit of offsetting, some things that we've already seen previously. Uh, and really this is the continuation from the last component of the ACC 626 optional workshop on introduction to VBA. But of course, anyone's free to listen and learn. So uh, lots of fun and exciting things here. There's a lot of really useful techniques. So just to walk through this sheet really quickly, which I'll provide a link to uh, so you can download it. Um, and all credit goes to my teaching assistant, uh, Jason Lowe, for putting together this workshop. So what we have here is we have the summary sheet. And essentially what you've been asked to is to summarize the description, the quantity on hand, and the, the dollar amount on hand. And yes, you could do VLOOKUPs manually, but if you had hundreds of worksheets and you want to repeat this function, or you had to do this every week, every month, every day, then it would be a little bit annoying. So that's where VBA can be very helpful. On this one, you have the um, the details. So here you can see the different uh, units and stores and the quantity on hand. And then as well here, you have the description. So let's get started. So here I'm gonna add, insert a module. I'm gonna call it sub reporting. And essentially I'm gonna show you how to name a range, which is super important. Um, and I'll show an example in VBA what that means. So here we're gonna go active workbook .names .add, and you'll see the syntax there equals, very similar to when you save a file name, vmaster, or a lot of other things in, in uh, VBA, to R, R1C1 uh, colon equals colon, and you'll see R1C1 obviously deals with the relative referencing. And you should have caught that in the, some, when I did some formulas in some previous ones. So here the data is all held in C1 uh, colon C2, which is um, the first column and the second column of this uh, worksheet, which is masters. So what we're looking for is, for example, if I want one name ranges, if I highlight this area and name it chart as an example, and then I were to go somewhere else and I would type in chart, it would then highlight that area. So it's define that range, name that range as chart. And I'm essentially, we're gonna do the same thing for on the details tab except for we're going to split those up into individual ranges and the reason why is that they're going to be part of different parts of uh the sum if formula that we're going to use to to calculate the quantity on hand and the dollar amount on hand so i have this on the side so i'm just going to copy and paste it what you'll see the big difference here is that we're only looking at one column in this case the first column second column third column fourth column and then i'm going to go sheets summary just to make sure that we're having the summary sheet open and i'm going to go dot activate so here we go we have this summary sheet open and then we're going to select a3 and the reason why we select a3 is uh one mostly because of the three but also because we want to eventually look up or we want to do a sum if based off the row no, uh the store number and it's just easier to go right to left so here we're starting at row three so that makes sense and we're essentially going to be doing this loop function. So we're going to go do while active cell less than greater than space. So basically not equal to blank because as soon as you hit the blank one, that means stop running the code. But while it's not blank, uh, there's still stores and items that we want to look up. And then here we're going to go, we're going to define a couple uh, values up here. We're going to go V store is equal to active cell right, because that's where A3 is. And we're gonna go V item is equal to active cell dot offset. In this case, we wanna offset it by one column because that's where the V item is. And now we're gonna use this function called VLOOKUP, and not really function, this variable. It's called VLOOKUP, V underscore VLOOKUP uh, equals to, and now we're gonna use this function, this nifty function, super useful you're going to use it a lot especially if you want to automate some of the tasks so here uh we're going to use the vlookup one 
and it's going to ask us for a number of different arguments. So here we're actually looking up the item. And then here we're going to go, we're going to look in the range, the master column two, uh, and then uh, zero, just because we want it exact. And then we won't fill out the rest of the column for now, but we'll come back to it. And we're just going to show you how it works. Offset zero two, because the description should be pasted two columns to the right. Uh, equals to v underscore v lookup, which is that value up there. And then we're going to end the loop over here. So we're going to go one line at a time just so we can actually see it in action. We're going to press F8. And you'll see one line at a time, nothing too exciting here. Um, and then we're going to activate the summary sheet. We're going to go to A3. And then we're going to continue this while the active cell is not. Uh, oh, it looks like I missed one line of code which is active cell dot offset zero, uh, one zero, which basically means that we're going to go to the second the next row. And then here we make V store equal to that equal to, and that's more so going to be applicable for the sum ifs. So here we have the V item. Now we have the V lookup. It's going to be equal to furniture, which is the description there. And then we're going to go paste it to two columns to the right. There you go. And then we're going to move on to the next row, and we're basically just going to keep looping through. There you go. So that's one component. So that's great. Uh, now let's do the quantity on hand. So we're going to call it V quant. Uh, no, I should probably name it the sum quant equals. And then we're going to very similarly, we're going to use application dot worksheet function dot sum if. Uh, and there's some ifs because since we have multiple conditions, you'll see here it's very similar to Excel, uh, except for the what you type in is a little bit more difficult. So here we're going to v quantity quant, right? Uh, and then here uh, range. So it's going to ask us what what column we want to sum up first, and then now we move into our 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 different ranges that we're looking at. So here v d store. We're basically going to sum if the column has the same store number and item number. So here is the range and then we're going to go V store and then we're going to move on to the next range, which is V D item V item bracket here. Okay. I must have some if range, some store V store Oh, I forgot the, it's very unforgiving, unfortunately. Uh, and then here, I'm just going to show you what it quickly look, can look like. Dot offset. In this case, we want to paste it three columns to the right. And in this case, it's going to be V sum quant. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And then we'll do the last component. Press F8. So F8, I think really important, helps you identify where the errors are. So there you go. So then you can see the quantity on hand and we can go and prove it, for example. So let's look up 16 and 1798 store. So here there's 1798 and then we're going to go to item 16. And you'll see here the quantity on hand is 453, which matches there perfectly. So that's great. And now let's just finish this off so that we can move on with our life so here uh we're gonna basically copy and paste here because it's very similar uh we're gonna call this uh sum val and the only thing we're gonna change here is the column that we're looking at in this case it's val and i believe everything's the same we're in fact gonna copy nope we're gonna copy this row here and call it uh val and paste it to the fourth row Perfect. So this is super powerful. I know it takes a little while to set up, but imagine if you had hundreds of worksheets, uh, then you could perform this on the fly, be a superhero at your work. You can apply different formatting, different techniques. Uh, you can apply this uniform format uh, to your your spreadsheets and be a rock star, be an Excel rock star, and really learn how to use this tool uh, to the best of its capabilities. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. And if there are any other items that you want me to cover, uh, feel free to ask that as well. And I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.